Today, I reviewed a KMTB Profit intro. I've been searching long and hard for a gimbal that could handle my GH5 Sigma and Speed Booster and the king of crop sensor lens, the Sigma 18-35mm f1.8. And I think I found it for now. Until, I don't know, November 1st. But before you watch this review, make sure to check out my Brussels video and the behind the scenes because I'm basing this review on my experience with a gimbal on that trip. Pros and cons. First things first, the payload, 6.6 .6 pounds on a pistol style grip is unheard of. Not a lot of single handed gimbals that are out right now can handle 6.6 .6 pounds. The motors on this thing I think is as big as the Ronin M's. Pretty impressive motor in my opinion for the size. Second pro is the size of the actual gimbal. It's not as small as a Zion Crane version 2, but it's not as big either like the Ronin M. It's in between which is perfect for traveling because you don't need extra cases for it. Next is simplicity, which for some people might be a con also. What I mean is that I really like how this gimbal just works straight out of the box. At the moment, there is no app for it and CamTV highly suggests not to use simple BGC software to mess around with the gimbal unless you want to break it. Another thing I like about this gimbal is the quick release plate, which is the same quick release plate of my tripods, the PO1 plates. The remote is also quite handy since using the thumb wheel while using the gimbal is quite difficult for me. Being able to switch from left to right side is also cool. You're not stuck with having the motors on the left only. You can switch between left and right if need be. Balancing is also very easy with this gimbal because it is toolless. You don't need screwdrivers, hammers, and whatnot. Encoders in the motors is also appreciated. You can hold the gimbal in the position for three seconds and it will stick to that position. Real helpful when your gimbal is drifting a little bit or is not balanced. Last thing I like about this drone, the last thing I like about this gimbal is the built quality. Not sure what it's made of, but it feels really well built. The wires they use looks really durable also. Now let's talk about the bad shit. Numer eins that I really hate about this drone. Numer eins that I really hate about this gimbal is how you remove the battery. It's a pain. It feels like I'm breaking the freaking crap every time I try to remove it. What happened? Number two, lack of customizable setting for the gimbal's tilt and pan speeds. I found that it moves too fast for me. I know it sucks. Like I said, simplicity sometimes could be a pain too because you're very limited on what you can change with this gimbal. Overall, the gimbal isn't perfect. Nothing in life is perfect. Look at me. But if you're looking for a gimbal that can support heavier setups like mine, then it's definitely worth looking into. I am working with KMTV right now for an issue of Drifting Horizon when turning the gimbal on, so keep checking this video for the update to see if it gets fixed. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you found this very useful. Namaste. Make sure to like and sub for more videos.